Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna look at your trading psychology. We're gonna look at some do's and don'ts. These mistakes have cost me thousands of dollars in the market, so hopefully you won't have to go through that pain. All right, so we're gonna help you with this. Again, guys, if you like this vid, if you could subscribe to the channel and like and share with your friends, that'd be greatly appreciated. So, number one, guys you must get a feel for the markets you trade, yeah? Their personality, how they behave. This only comes with screen time, yeah? You have to look at that pair and how it moves and how it behaves each day. For example, the sterling uh, and the Canadian dollar are far more volatile than the US dollar Japanese yen. The pound Canadian dollar can move 50 pips quite easily in a short amount of time, whereas the US dollar Japanese yen won't. It will take much longer for it to move 50 pips. And the spread on the um, sterling Canadian dollar will be far larger than the spread on the US dollar Japanese yen. You must know these little differences for each pair and, and get a feel for each pair's behavior. I have traded markets that I simply don't know. I don't know their behavior. Like gold I've traded, like oil, like one of the indices, yeah? I didn't know how it behaved. And as you can guess, I got badly burnt trading them. I simply didn't have a feel or understand the behavior or the movement of this market. Number two guys, do not have a lot of trades open at once. Imagine you have 10, 15 trades open at once and you have to manage each trade. Imagine how stressful that can become. Focusing on two trades is far easier than having to focus on 10 trades for example. Focus on trading a couple of trades well, not a lot of trades badly. I remember once having 14 trades open at the same time. And all I ended up doing was confusing myself, especially when the markets became volatile. Don't stuff your plate, only eat what you can manage. Number three, never ever think that trading is a get rich quick scheme. Let me tell you it isn't. Yeah, it can take years to become consistently profitable. I remember when I first started and I had some successful trades, I was thinking all I need now is to up my trade size and I'll be a millionaire in three months and I'll buy that Ferrari. So guess what? I upped my trade size to a, a very uncomfortable level and then I started making mistakes. I wasn't comfortable trading that, that size position and I just didn't know how to handle it. Trading these amounts of money played with my psychology and eventually lost a lot of money. It's one thing seeing a trade go against you, let's say $100, and it's a totally different story when you see a trade go against you, let's say $2,000. Yeah, the psychology is very different. So get comfortable with making a little profit every day with a lot size that you are comfortable trading and can mentally handle. Once you've achieved this, you can start increasing your lot sizes, your position sizes, but it has to be gradual. You can't go from risking $100 per trade to risking $5,000. Yeah, the leap is too much. So gradual increments, gradual increases of your lot sizes. In summary guys, I hope these help with your brain and your trading psychology. They helped me, so I hope they help you. All right guys, if you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and like and share with your friends. I will see you soon.